Okay, my friends, this is part two, and I stopped the Polish package, which was given on December the 15th, uh, before the Christmas, you know. Uh, it was uh, all kinds of gimmicks. Uh, first, about how the packages are given downstairs. Uh, then, downstairs, when I came, the whole bunch of uh, this Chechen, Russians, whatever you want to call them, uh, insisted that package is no longer a given. But in the office, I was told that packages are still given anyways. And so I got this package. Uh, I'm just going to put it this way. After consuming this package, the only thing that happens was, and this stuff did not happen immediately, it happened the next day. The only thing that happened was, luckily I managed to come here back to Grotniki thanks to the lady who stopped me in between. And she took me in a good, uh, in a good portion uh, went on my way to the city, another couple from here took me all the way to Zgirsh, and then on the way back, uh, the lady took me. The only thing I'm going to say is that she brought me back in a good portion. Uh, I was lucky, really lucky, I didn't, uh, uh, you know, that the symptoms of the food poisoning were not worse, because I could have collapsed in the forest and freeze over there uh easily because you know uh the very same night when i returned back and i barely returned back from one house here i went it felt like i would make few hundred meters 15 minute walk felt like few hour long walk this is how weak i was this is how poison i was And that was that was on a day when I came back also from the Warsaw. That was the next day. Um, the only thing that happened was in the middle of the night. Uh, no, I, first of all, I could not even answer the telephone. The poisoning went on for no less than four days uh my um first turn into not water but um uh, uh, we say in in slovenian language i don't know how to properly say in so i would not use bad language in english it became first completely white and then it turned into a blood. Uh, it was four days. I would, I could not even answer the telephone. This is how weak I was. When I would try to get to the toilet in the middle of the night, I would repeat, repeatedly experience issues with the gravity. And because of, I think, because of the pressure, and the only thing that would happen is I would fall down on the floor, collapse, uh, and remain there for a few seconds. I don't know for how long, uh, because I almost blacked out. Uh, one of the roommates called security. Security was going to call the hospital, but I didn't want to go to hospital. And somehow I managed by consuming rice, cooked rice, I no longer would eat this stuff from here to recuperate myself, to heal myself. But I just want to say that on the way from Warsaw, that was on the 19th, exactly, on the 15th. This is how long the poisoning lasted. Uh, food package was given on the 15th. Then I have experienced serious poisoning. And that lasted for four days. So that was a fourth day, maybe five days then. 
On my way from Warsaw here, uh, I would have people looking at me strange on a, on a train. When I would go and release the gases, uh, inside of the toilet, I would close myself inside of the toilet, but there was such a high, huge amount of gas inside of my intestines that when I would release myself inside of that toilet, people could hear out of the toilet what went on in there. I have not seen anything like this. I have never experienced in my lifetime any, any problems with, with gases. I have never had any, any issues like this. But in this place here, it almost became chronical. I am healed now because I too go and I, I, do, I, I bought my own rice and I prepare myself a rice uh, to heal, to, you know, to, to calm the intestines. Um, I too go and I either boil the food or whatever it is that you have to do or I don't consume one at all. If it's, if it's like some kind of stuff like this, funny stuff, I just toss that stuff away. I too go and I boil water uh, to remove the chloride and stuff like this. And within the last two weeks since I started doing this stuff, uh, the blood pressure issues uh, totally, totally disappeared. Uh, 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 blood, high pressure blood issues uh, from my head completely disappeared concerning the food. However, I am not abstinent from, I cannot, I, I'm not immune from uh, being radiated, being, being hit in the head by the roommate um that is something i cannot prevent uh, however uh, when comparing the uh, situation with the past when my head was ready to explode when you take the combination of all the stuff i have talked about that was exercised when i felt like i want to go and throw myself off the bridge this is how tough it was uh, right now, I feel like I don't, I'm not experiencing any kind of problems, even that right now I do have this sound again because of what happened last night. Uh, therefore, uh, drinking milk, which I did, of course, we need dairy products. Uh, we need dairy products. We can have a liver problems uh, if we don't have a dairy products. Whenever I had opportunity, rather than buying myself a water outside of the center, I spent money on milk or yogurt or something like that. Uh, therefore, it was not a milk product. Uh, it was not a fact that uh, only that it would be a food uh, which was purchased outside of the center. It's something I immediately realized, a knowledge that whenever I'm out of the center, I'm not experiencing uh, this type of uh, issues with uh, a blood pressure in my head. And so that prompted in me suspicion about the food. Uh, the milk theory lasted, uh, the lie about the milk, that lasted for quite some time. Uh, but then I realized that uh, one day it came to me when I was inside of the dining room. I'm the only one who eats here and the only one that does not boil the water. And there you have, that's a chloride. Uh, therefore, it was not a milk. Uh, it really was the water that helped uh, also boost uh, the high blood pressure issues. Okay, so then finally I came to realize, finally I came to the final conclusion that this type of combination even when you are not radiated with electromagnetic radiation or microwave, uh, this type of stuff, this kind of poisonings, they can carry on. Do you remember the plates and uh, especially long, uh, very difficult to access the bottom, uh, a cup, which I got right here from, from the street. People will give out 
right in front of their doors, uh, cups and stuff like that. You know, like you have a garage sale, but they would give this for free. Stuff like this happened by not by coincidence. Now, you run, you are pressed with the time, you run to the library, you run back and forth. You don't have a cup of milk, you don't have a cup of coffee, anything. And what do you think? You're going to go for the breakfast. You will go for that morning cup of coffee and you will try to get one as big as possible. And when you don't have a time, then they sip inside, uh, inside of that uh, cup, a chloride on the bottom that sticks. It mixes with the water and you get that effect again going and so on. So they have used a whole variety of stuff. But if I condense the whole thing, it was a food poisoning combination with a chloride. Chloride you cannot even detect. You can mix one in the coffee. You can mix one inside. And it was in the coffee, in the sugar it was mixed. And it was like this sticks to the stick to the plates, uh, to the... Uh, to the cups, to the cup, uh, to the coffee cup. Uh, another, what I have not mentioned, was a food that was spicy. Every day the soup, a spicy soup was served. That stuff too will boost a high blood pressure issues. You can go and you can go. This is why I said this is the video created specially for the physicians, for the doctors. Does not even have so much with psychiatry, psychology. I feel that psychiatry psychology is so manipulated that if we were to wait uh, on the truth, uh, you know, uh, we would not get one from them. They are hiding. They really are hiding behind this kind of issues. This is this is basically part of their business. Uh, they use this kind of stuff to make people look stupid. Uh, MK Ultra is done with a reason. This is a prim preliminary instrument. Uh, and they use this kind of stuff to make them even uh, look more stupid and turn them into violent individuals and all kinds of stuff. That's why if I were to wait for the uh, psychologist, for the psychiatrist, uh, I would probably die just waiting on them, uh, you know, for their views to come out of them. This is just not going to happen. So uh, this basically is what went on here. Uh, I did learn about it. I understand now what went on. Now you go and you make your own conclusion about who is guilty for what. Uh, for me, the Polish people, the regular Polish people, uh, even if they did some stuff they shouldn't, whatever, they did it out of frustration. Um, some did stuff because... Uh, it, it, their world turned upside down. I mean, uh, for whatever reasons they did it, I just hope they're not going to do it anymore to one another. Uh, and I foremost hope that uh, every one of them, all of you are going to hold together as a nation, uh, helping one another, assisting one another, uh, preventing stuff I have talked about. So something like this would not repeat in the future to any one of you because you all matter. And that's why I give, I, uh, that's why I give, it was a big concern why I gave, uh, you know, those Polish uh, emblems. Uh, why have I given, you know, to, to, to the people, you know, the day I'm going to be rated and stuff like this. Uh, every one of you is valuable. You all did your part. I am thankful and grateful to be here, to meet every one of you. And the only thing I would want really is for you guys to stick together, uh, hold together with one another. You're very special people, beautiful people. And this is how I would want uh, you to see one another. You have to learn to... Uh, You already do, but, you know, it would be really good if people would not see uh, a German option, uh, a Russian option, I don't know what kind of option, but instead of that, a Polish option, uh, you know. Seeing each other uh, more than just, uh, more than just even neighbors, uh, seeing each other, uh, more than just friends and enemies, seeing each other as part of this nation, basically. 
that would be a great thing. That would really be a great thing. A roommate, roommate, yes, 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 uh, beyond insane individual. This guy, I don't know if I have mentioned or not, uh, he replicated with um, Chechen roommate, the one I was with, police officer from USSR, uh, really a hitman, a regular hitman replicated a sperm with a chemical which we have uh, for cleaning bathroom and with pure one on the on the pants which you have brought uh, to clean the floor and with pure that on on them and lay that right inside of the uh, shower toilet area so I could uh, observe this and ask and I did inquire about it, he would yell like, you know, like he knows nothing about it and always does that and that I'm blaming him and stuff like this. Then when I would ask another roommate, uh, Tajiki roommate, he would start to laugh like completely insane. Uh, it was just a joke and stuff like that. I mean... That was right after I came from Warsaw because Warsaw wanted me to audio record and post the stuff online uh, so they could use that option, you know, you audio recorded, we told you not to, now you're out. Uh, then just two days ago, the idiot would go and post himself right here at the gate when I would enter the center he would be at the gate <laughs> because I have refused because he would they wouldn't let me sleep and I have refused to get to engage in any kind of confrontation not even verbal with them uh, instead I would just leave the room come here and that would be it he would post himself over there at the gate like you know looking at me you know like wow you know wow then he would go he would follow inside the gym I would be just as I am right now, like this, uh, basically facing what you see right there. He would go right there on a red, a red uh, this thing there. He would face me right there and would start to pray down like Muslims pray to Allah and stuff like this. I mean, it's fucking crazy. Guy is, guy is completely insane, you know. And so I figure out that, uh, yeah. But there is a little bit more about his insanity that I would like to learn just how far this would go. Uh, I think he's dangerous. I think any hitman is a threat to humanity, to the, to the people. Uh, and something is going to have to be done about him and about his colleagues here. This is, this thing, these things are just no good. Anything else I want to mention? No. A carpal tunnel syndrome was exploded. That's interesting enough, too. When I would visit uh, a residence here and I would go and clean the roof and clean the garden. And what they would do is that's when they would go and intensify this radiation, this bullshit. Uh, and so it would look like it would make me feel like, oh, you know, it just happened by coincidence over there. Uh, just like that, just not the case, uh, these are the syndromes of electromagnetic radiation for all the stuff, the physicians, doctors, people, there are specialists in this field, no, these are facts I'm talking about. Other than that, uh, the Ruski Valerio is, is uh, right now, it's... It's pretty nervous because the last video I have released about MK Ultra uh, was pretty good about MK Ultra, my view on intelligence community. That was a pretty good stuff. They anticipated for me to become uh, anxious, you know, and that's something that just uh, it doesn't it really doesn't happen.
Uh, I am comfortable as one can possibly be comfortable. I have somebody coming here. I think he pointed with a head with a hand here in silence on so forth. Okay, uh, they're pretty anxious about everything. The only message I have for Donald Trump, for Putin, is that it was all kinds of gimmicks, all kinds of stuff we're going to do and this and that. We're going to do to you. You're going to disappear and la, 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 la. The only thing, uh, message I have is basically what I have posted on my blog and my news site. Uh, from here, I'm going to head to the library. I'm going to post this on the internet. In the library, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to file a few complaints. We'll continue to uh, procedures, complain procedures, and we'll request some assistance also from the Polish government. See if I can get some free legal stuff from them. The only message for you guys I have is the same one that Winston Churchill have delivered to the Germans in the World War II. That's pretty much how I see it. That's all. Replace the Normandy, France, and air and sea with court law enforcement. And you will understand exactly what I am all about, what exactly I mean. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, Russian poisoning, yeah, if you are exposed long enough to this, it become chronical, it become a permanent symptom in you. Uh, never mind possibilities of cancer, brain cancer, and those types of uh, problems about which Mr. Kaczynski dreamed about. He was obsessed. He was, he was just, uh, I think he's a lunatic, really, to tell you the truth. I think that uh, individual is, in, is intellectual, however, he gets obsessed. Uh, with certain ideas and this kind of ideas take him way too far just as the case was with the flight to uh, Katyn uh, where 100 uh, Polish patriots uh, disappeared basically in flames uh, I think he gets carried away uh, I think I think he is too much I think he is dangerous and I think he is not, it's not what I think, it's a fact. He's representing the option that is depriving Poland of, of uh, existence, of, of, of will to exist. He murders, he kills peel, uh, will in the people. What I have gone through here, you know, basically it was the same thing, completely identical to the one I have gone through in Slovenia. In Slovenia, we're tortured for five years in a field of psychiatry they had me two years almost inside of the mental hospital locked what they would do is they would use whatever they have used that would paralyze me that i could not walk i could not sleep on the on the on the on the side where heart is located because it it seemed like it's gonna burst it was pain i was on a brink of heart attack all the time because of those pills i could not walk I had a pain in my back because of those pills. I could not even talk because I couldn't move jaw because I was paralyzed. My body was paralyzed. Then I started to sleep straight 24 hours. And uh, that's when they had to, like it or not, they had to reduce the amount, whatever they used on me, and compel me to walk back and forth. And uh, so the poison in the body would reduce to somewhat tolerable amount. Uh, But all the time, all along, that's what I'm saying. This is no different than mental hospital. They insisted on my reading books. You must read books, you must exercise, and you must read books. Well, uh, if you must, you probably, under this type of circumstances, will begin to hate. And since I was a journalist, since I was a writer, I'm not surprised that this is the approach uh, they have used against me. And the same shit was here. 
you must learn Polish language. And what were they doing all along parallel to that? The same approach, the same psychology is basically to frustrate uh, and destroy individual and basically click uh, use uh, situation, location, circumstances to, to destroy individual and kick him out of the country. I got no intention to leave Poland anytime soon. I don't know how the things are going to turn, but I just plan on remaining here. If really something would happen, like they have suggested, you would be given one more opportunity. We would take you to the Russia and we would talk to us. And then if you, uh, you would be returned. And then if you would continue, then we would kill you, this and that. As well as mine, just make your trip short and do it right here. Uh, because don't forget, don't forget how I was writing articles in Slovenia. Uh, in Slovenia, uh, they would control me, they would check me all the time if I eat pills once I was sent home. And those pills, this is like a lobotomy, folks. You have no idea. You see everything blurry. Uh, your body is just, everything inside is just twisting around. This is what these pills do. Just see how I looked like on those videos back then. But still, you know what? I was feigning. But regardless of all that stuff, regardless of it, I continue to write. I continue to write. That's why Winston Churchill, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it's going to take. As long as I will leave, I will pursue my life. Not your philosophy, not your bullshit. Thanks for watching this video, folks. Uh, take care of yourself, whatever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.